Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. So today is Monday, October 26th, and I'm gonna do another just like basic lifestyle vlog this week. Um, a lot of you really, really enjoyed last week's vlog. Um, filming at home. I'd love to be able to incorporate like home and school life in the same vlog. I think it would be great, but it would probably make for a really long vlog and you know, whatever. So uh, Cash and I just got home. It's 5.50. I actually went to get my nails fixed uh, right after school. I just got acrylics. Um, I don't get any color. I just get clear so that it just looks like my nails, but they're not going to break. Um, and then I went to Home Goods. I was looking for stuff for his playroom, but I didn't find anything. And then I picked him up and we went to Fry's real quick. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Fry's. So we're gonna do a little grocery haul. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna start from this side. This is not like what I would get every single week. This is just kind of what we needed. So we needed some bread for Cash's um, lunches over the weekends. And then I'm gonna start trying to do like breakfast sandwiches since he isn't really eating breakfast very well lately. Um, some mandarins, he really likes these. These are the the sweet brand. We usually get the cuties, but they didn't have them. And then he really likes strawberries and bananas. And then he also loves avocados. So for dinner tonight, I'm thinking I'll make him some chicken nuggets with avocados, um, maybe some noodles with like garlic and peas and carrots so that he can get some good fats in his diet because he doesn't really eat at school either. We're kind of struggling with eating in general with this child. Um, and then I grabbed some sushi. I'm gonna have this for dinner tonight. Um, and then if I'm still hungry, I'll have a little bit of that one. Um, this is only 400 calories for dinner, so that's pretty good. And then this one is about less than 400 calories. So um, if I eat one of them for dinner, I could save the other one for dinner tomorrow or for lunch. And then I got all the things to make my breakfast sandwiches. You guys saw me make those last week. Um, basically gonna make them again tonight and then I got two salads um, one is an Asian sesame salad and then one is a chicken chopped salad so I'll probably enjoy one of those for dinner and then I'm thinking I'll probably make this tomorrow but I just grabbed this home chef meal um, it serves one person it's the panko crusted boom boom chicken with steamed broccoli it looks really tasty looks like all you do is kind of like throw it together and stick it in the oven and it was 10 bucks, so this would be cheaper than like last night I ordered um, like a Thai place and it was like 20 bucks after the delivery fee. So I got one of these to try for myself. Um, got some butter, some sriracha to take to school because I'm going to show you guys my lunches for school, but I want some sriracha to put on top. And then I always get this coffee. Um, it's just the Starbucks iced coffee and then I just got a creamer. This will last me like the whole week and this thing is like five bucks and that is my alternative to stopping at Starbucks in the morning. I just bring this to school, keep it in my fridge and then I don't have to go to Starbucks in the mornings. And then I grabbed these little muffins, just another carb to put in Cash's body in the morning if he'll even eat them. He hasn't really been wanting to eat muffins either. So that is what I got grocery wise. And then our meals came today. So I was talking about these last week. So I'm gonna show you. So they're by Cormay's Meals. And they come looking like this. So this meal is broccoli, red potatoes, and chicken. Hey man. And then, so I get four meals a week and Scott gets eight meals a week. And then this one is chicken, broccoli, and quinoa. And I think those are the two that I got for the whole week. Let's see, ooh, this one is a poblano chicken salad. It comes with like celery and some whole grain pita and a poblano sauce. And then the last one in there, what is that? It's another one with broccoli. Oh, it looks like it has some kind of like cheese on top with pasta. Ooh, that looks good. So um, yeah, those are gonna be my lunches for the week. So I'll probably just take them with me to school tomorrow and then just leave them in my fridge at school and then I don't have to what you doing? You want a carrot? Wrong end, buddy bed. Here. Ow. You want a carrot? Well, oh, that one was on the floor. Can I have that one? <laughs> Here, that one was yucky. Thank you. Just take a bite. And then move on. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to put all these groceries away. 
And then I'm gonna cook this guy dinner, and then we're gonna just hang out. Hey, what you got there? What is that? Is that a carrot? Can you say carrot? No. Carrot? Oh, doggies like carrots too, huh? No carrot for you. All right, let's see how he did here. So he ate all his chicken nuggets and he asked for more. So he ate some avocado and he's eaten almost a whole cutie. Most of it's in his mouth right now. So we'll see how he does. <laughs> You're just gonna ignore me, aren't you? Put your bowl in the sink, please. Put it in the sink so mama can wash it. He's so tired, you guys. He didn't nap at school today. Are we gonna put it in there? Thank you! High five! Yeah, that's my boy. All right, let's go play with your new puzzle. Let's take off your shoes and play with your new puzzle. <laughs> Okay, so I found this at Home Goods. It's just one of these like giant um, floor puzzles. I thought that would be fun for Cash and I to play with. Okay, so it is now eight o'clock and Cash is already asleep. I put him down 30 minutes early tonight because he didn't nap at school. So I know he's really tired. Um, I'm drinking some emergency because I feel like I'm getting sick. Like my throat is yucky and I'm starting to feel like phlegm and stuff in here. Luckily though, um, I am going to get go get a flu shot. Probably tomorrow I think is when the school is having the flu shots. But I'm waiting for some popcorn to pop because I'm going to have popcorn for a midnight or a late night snack. Um, and I'm just going to relax tonight. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow so I'm going to pack a bag tonight so that it's ready to go in the morning. And then um, I was going to work out tonight, but I'm just exhausted. So I work out best either when I know I have a friend that I'm going to go meet up with and work out at night with, which is usually Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I work out with my friend Becca. And then during the week, Monday and Tuesday, I work out after school on my way to pick up cash. Today I had too many errands to run. So tomorrow after school, I'm going to work out. So I'm going to pack a bag so that that's ready. And then... I'm going to go to bed early tonight, pop some NyQuil so that my throat doesn't hurt, and then pass out. Good morning, guys. Um, it's 5.45. I'm ready for work. I'm going to do my makeup when I get there. <clears throat> I'm just going to pack all my food for the week. So, Monday through Friday, or sorry, Tuesday through Friday lunches. And Tuesday through Friday breakfast. I don't really need to pack any snacks because my skinny drops, um, these skinny tabs help me not really have any cravings. So I don't feel like peckish throughout the day. And then these gummies also help me not really feel like snacky. Um, however, if I do feel snacky, I do have like salami and hummus and stuff in my fridge at school. So if I do feel like I need a snack, I have them. I almost forgot my sriracha, my coffee, and my creamer. Also going to the gym, so I packed a gym bag. And then now I need to fill up my gallon. I didn't finish it yesterday, but you know what? I got close enough, so. I'm gonna fill that up, feed the dogs, and then get on out of here. 
Hey guys, so it is now about 6.15 on Monday. No, Tuesday. Tuesday, 6.15. And I am cooking a HelloFresh meal. Um, Scott is not home tonight, but we have some HelloFresh meals left from last week. So I'm just cooking it up right now so that we don't waste it. So I'm making the smothered pepper jack burgers with sweet potato fries. Um, I was going to have my home chef meal, but that one I just bought and it doesn't go bad for a couple days, so I'll probably save it for Saturday. Let's see when it expires. It doesn't expire till the 23rd. So that means I have till tomorrow to make it. So maybe I will make it tomorrow or maybe I'll just let Scott have it for lunch or I could make it tonight and then that way it's made and it doesn't go bad. Um, I guess I should have maybe checked to see if we had food before I bought it. But that's fine. There's like a dog barking down the road and it's making all the dogs in the neighborhood bark. What are you eating? Nuggets, mac and cheese. Yummy. Oh, good job. That's a big mama, bite. Mama. Yeah, mama. So, um, after we eat dinner, um, we'll just hang out for a little bit. We'll take baths and then we'll go to bed. And then I'm going to get started on laundry. So, I might start laundry while he's like playing. Um, depending on how needy he is, maybe he can help me with laundry. No. Good morning, guys. It's currently Wednesday morning at 5.51. <clears throat> and I'm a little sicker. Um, this morning I woke up with a lot of mucus coming up. Um, I'm not talking like soft, slimy mucus either. I'm talking about like chunky booger mucus. Really nasty. So I think what I'm going to do after school today, um, I have a meeting. Probably until four. 
and then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I think I'm gonna take Cash and I to the doctor and get some antibiotics because he already has a runny nose so I already know where that's going it's also been tugging at his ears a lot so I have suspicions but you know what the great thing is is I don't have any breakfast I need to prep I don't have any lunch I need to pack so I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get one of those flu bomb drinks and that will make me feel better Hello friends, so it is Wednesday evening and Scott is home which means he is in there reading books to cash before bed and I am putting together some laundry to put in the uh, laundry baskets. Um, part of our deal on our survival in the Valdez house is that Scott does the kitchen and does the dishes every morning so whatever dishes I use at night I just rinse them clean and then I leave them in the sink and then I just kind of pick up and he cleans the kitchen and then I'm responsible for doing all the laundry cleaning it washing it putting it away hanging it up so I'm gonna do that tonight but I thought it would be interesting because I have to clean out a pair of his work pants just to see like what's in his pockets. Um, if you guys didn't know, my husband is a police officer. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so he obviously has a uniform and he keeps a lot of stuff in his pocket. So let's see what's in there. Okay, first thing. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think it's one of those like straps that they use and then this looks like a key? I don't know. It's really in there. Ah. Oh. The badge. Makes me want to be like, mm, I'm a police officer. Okay, the badge is in there. Nothing else in that pocket. Normally he keeps way more in there, but. Oh, this one's a gold mine over here. Ooh, this is a fingerprint pad. What else? Ooh, flashlight. And. keys too. I don't know what. Probably like some kind of like holding cell or something. There's something else in there. Heavy. Okay, so funny story. My husband and I, I probably shouldn't be holding these too close. I don't know what's on them. Um, my husband and I wear the same size pants. <laughs> so he has really thin skinny legs and like no butt and I have kind of like thicker legs and a butt and his pants fit me perfectly. <laughs> So it is now Thursday evening and I am just getting dinner done. Um, Cash and I had a few errands to run after school today. Scott is not here. He's actually working an overtime shift. He'll be home at like 8 o'clock. But I got a few things in the mail. 
uh, that I wanted to share with you guys. And then I also had to pick up some prescriptions for Cash and I because we were both sick. He is spitting out all his food. Okay, so first of all, I got my shipment in from Lipstick and Littles. I'll show you what I got. So I ordered three of her new made to teach items. Um, I got myself and one of my coworkers a shirt. She loves cheetah or leopard print, so I thought of her, I thought she would love this, so I got her one. And I got myself one, I got her a small, got myself a medium, I think. Or maybe I got her an extra small. She's teeny tiny. Yeah, I got her extra small, got myself a small, and then I ordered this sweatshirt because I just could not live without this peach colored sweatshirt. How cute is that? <clears throat> And I'm really happy because Ashley, my dear Ashley, she threw in her Made to Teach sticker. So I stuck that to my water bottle. <clears throat> and then you guys are going to totally laugh at me. But I ordered this pack of pink stickers. And I actually had them in my cart. And then my friend Vanessa from My Second Grade Life posted that she bought them. So I picked out like 10 of them that I really like for myself. I'm going to put them on my water bottle, <clears throat> probably a few on my laptop, my work laptop and my home laptop. And then I think I'm gonna give a few to my students because they're like super cute and I think I have like 16 girls. I have like 16 girls in my class so I know that those stickers will go to wonderful homes and I only spent like six bucks on them so I can give them a few. Um, but yeah, so we're just eating dinner and it's, like I said, 6.30. Cash is gonna have avocado with chicken nuggets. By the way, guys, I know I feed him these chicken nuggets like every night, but that's literally the only meat he will eat. So I give him avocado and he's gonna have some pasta and then the chicken nuggets. He just won't eat any other meat. And like he likes cheese, but we're out of cheese right now. He eats a lot of yogurt, he eats a lot of peanut butter. So he definitely gets his protein in other ways, but I, he loves those chicken nuggets, so I just give them to him. I'm not gonna argue with a toddler, you know? So he eats good when I feed him those, so I'm gonna give him what he likes. I am eating a home chef meal, and I'm really excited about it. It's called, I think I showed it to you guys earlier in the vlog, but it's baking in the oven. Look how good that looks. Chicken and broccoli. And then I just made some white shells. Cash loves these. I know they're not the best for you. They're like totally bad. Um, I mean, they're not organic and they're like super processed, but you guys are delicious. So I have a little bit in there for me. So I'll enjoy that once my meal is done in 10 minutes. The home chef meal was like literally three minutes and it was prepared. Um, the instructions came like that. I just threw it together. It came in its own baking pan and I just threw it in the oven for 20 minutes and my dinner's ready and that was 10 bucks and it serves one person. So that's probably the equivalent to like going out to eat but So it is now Sunday morning and our abuelita and abuelito just left. So Cash and I, I think are gonna go to the mall. We're gonna go to the Santan Mall, which is like a beautiful outdoor mall here in the Phoenix area, Gilbert area. 
Um, so we're going to go there and just walk around. There's also an indoor playground there that I'd really like to um, check out. Scott has taken him there a few times, but I've never gotten to take him. So I think we're going to do that um, and then come home around to take naps. And then um, I need to clean this house. But you guys, you know what? Like in my last video, I noticed how like in the background, like my house is a little dirty. But you guys, this is real life. Like I am a full-time working mom. I work, <laughs> I'm out of the house 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. So cleaning up is just not on my priority list. I mean, yeah, I want my house to look clean. And for the most part, like my house is clean. It's just that there's stuff everywhere because I have a toddler. So um, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna apologize for clutter being the background of my videos because it's just how it is right now. Like my bedroom, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's a mess. I mean, we have stuff everywhere, which is why I need to clean up. <laughs> I mean, I have like, these, this is all clean laundry. These are all clean. I like to do my laundry by hanging it up and then putting it away. I have like stuff just, I mean, there's stuff everywhere. Huh. Because I like to spend my time with him instead of cleaning up. You want mama to get dressed so we can go? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, is this a tantrum? Looks like one, huh? Oh, I'm gonna pick you up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, Mama's gonna get dressed. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the mall and we're gonna just hang out, you and me. Because Daddy's working overtime this morning. So we won't see him till midnight tonight. So let's go hang out, you and me. We'll get some lunch. Is this a truck? That's a truck, yeah. No, it doesn't sound like he's saying truck, does it? I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here just because it's Sunday and I have the whole vlog edited already. I just have to add these last couple clips in, but I hope you guys are enjoying these kind of like different vlogs at home after teaching, but I think it's important for people to know that you can be a teacher and a mom. It is possible and you can enjoy your children and not have to be working at home and I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm enjoying filming these. I'm enjoying being able to document the days I have with this guy um, so that I can go back and watch them because it's really important to me to be able to watch things back. So anyway, I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. Um, it's at Apples and Tiaras right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.